सो हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल हेर इन दिस भिडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द वेक वेब बकलिंग एंड वेब क्रिपलिंग व्हाट इज वेब बकलिंग एंड व्हाट इज वेब क्रिपलिंग ओके सो वी विल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेन्सनिंग द फ्यू फिगर सो यू विल इजिली अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द भिडियो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द भिडियो प्लिज डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन इफ यू आर न्यू टू आवर चैनल ओके and i have uploaded different video related to our steel structure different numerical that are repeatedly asked in our final examination and uh, the link of those those video i will keep in description box so i strongly recommend you please visit those those videos okay that will be very important for your uh, examination okay as well as your uh, conceptual wise okay so let's start the video Uh, you can see here this is the web buckling okay so buckling is uh, buckling means uh, generally it occurs uh, in the middle part of the section so this is the uh, i section okay and uh, you can you you already know this is the uh, this is uh, this is called um, this is called web okay the middle part of i section is called web and uh, when apply is when load is comes from the uh, from upper surface so it gets buckle okay buckle means the i section the part of web is uh, buckle from the middle part you can see here uh, this is a buckle from here okay this uh, this is all about the middle part of the wave section okay so this is the wave buckling but in case of wave crippling uh, it uh, it cripple from the these parts okay either uh, lower or either uh, topper uh, top part okay so this is the basic difference between wave buckling and crippling so let's see here so you can see here buckling uh, failure from vertical load so for uh, buckling the load should comes from the vertical okay then only uh, buckling okay so let's see some uh, definition parts the web in a rolled steel section behaves like a column when placed under contracted load the web uh, rolled steel section behaves like a column okay this uh, web section behaves like uh, like a column when load comes from the uh, vertically from upward okay so uh, when placed under uh, centrated load concentrated load the web is quite thin and it is therefore subjected to the buckling this web is thin that's why uh, it subjected to the buckling okay web buckling vertical uh, buckling occurs when the intensity of vertical compressive stress near to the center of section becomes greater than the critical buckling stress for the, for the web acting edge column the bottom flange is assumed to be resistant against lateral deflection and rotation wave buckling you can calculate wave buckling equal to d by tw which is less than 67 epsilon okay so uh, we already know the value of epsilon should be 1 so that's why uh, value of d by tw should be less than 67 okay in this case uh, uh, the wave buckling occurs okay so these are the basic points that we should know about the wave buckling okay and uh, you always remember that wave bucklings always occur in the middle part of wave okay not in flange i already told you uh, these two are the uh, flange but the, this uh, part is called a uh, wave okay and load comes from the vertically and it behaves wave behaves like a column so it gets buckle okay so buckle always takes place in the middle part of the wave okay like this like this like uh, this okay now we will see uh, wave crippling okay so here you can see uh, we already discussed about the wave buckling now we will discuss about the wave crippling what is wave crippling and how it's Uh, occurs okay so you can see here wave failure of 
local crippling you can see here on these two points here you can see and here this is due to the wave crippling okay so this is the uh, one of the most uh, problems of the i section okay so you can see here so let's see some uh, definition of wave crippling and the most of the uh, very important point that we should know about the wave clipping okay so you can see here loads and reactions concentrated along a short length of flange of beam are registered by compressive stress in the wave which vary with distance from the load okay in wave crippling this uh, this will happen the waves of rolled steel sections are therefore subjected to a large amount of stress okay just below the concentrated load and above the reactions from the support okay so i hope you will understand this point stress concentration occurs at the junction of the wave and the flange as a result the large bearing the large bearing stress are developed below the concentrated loads consequently the wave near near the portion of the stress concentration tends to fold over the flange this type of local buckling phenomenon is called crippling okay and and crippling of wave okay so this is all about the wave crippling so i hope you understand well i already told you in wave crippling the our i section fails from here okay either from top or either from the bottom of the flange part okay but in wave buckling it failure fails from the middle part okay so this is the basic difference between the wave buckling and wave crippling so i hope understand thank you very much see you in next video if you like the video please do subscribe our channel and comment down below if you have any queries okay so thank you very much and i uh, i suggest you please visit our channel because we up uploaded different important numericals and different concept related to our civil engineering okay and i will keep uh, all those videos link in description box okay so you can easily visit thank you very much see you in next video